All right, people, what is up? So, in this video, I'm, I'm basically going to show you on how to make your footage look like Hollywood. What? What you see in the cinema, so. So, yes, I'm going to make your footage look cinematic from this to this. Hi. Yeah. Um, also, in this video, the. Um, the audio might not be the best because I didn't plug in my mic because that's just dumb of me. So, yeah! Peace out. Alright, so basically what you basically need to do is that I've, I have some footage that I've got right here. Um, which you can do that as well if you want to make your footage look extremely cinematic as well um, what you need to do is go into your sequence settings right here um, I live in the PAL area so yeah, I live in the UK which is a uh, PAL area um, basically PAL and different it's just different it's basically the light transition which you do um, uh, PAL is 50 Hertz and NTHC is 60 hertz. So yeah, basically that was a quick explanation on Pat on NTSC. So yeah, uh, basically what you need to do right here is that you need to make your footage. If you want to make your footage most cinematic, you need to go into your sequence settings and times it and times it by divided by 2.39 to your like frame size and your horizontal so basically right now I'm just gonna go and get a calculator my, my fucking computer would work like, all right. so you need to times it by 2.39 so let's say you're doing 1920 my mouse is broken, like everything. And you divide it by 2.39, 2.39, and there is like 8.803.3. Uh, you can put the point three if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'll just put 803 because if you put point, your thing will look extremely horrible so 803 make your thing 21 by 9 now so now you're working in a 21 by 9 timeline uh, yes that's how you get your black bars over the top and bottom of your video but this video is going to be 16 by 9 I'm not going to add any fucking black bars to this video because fuck that shit so yeah, this is a color grading tutorial, so that's what I'm doing. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Alt right now. Um, do that. Yeah, and try and make it close as possible. So now if I like play the sound, I'm just gonna take out the sound quickly. Because you don't need to hear that at all. So yeah, what you need to do is Say that I have footage right here, it's like I'm just gonna delete that right now. Cause, yeah. Um you just what you need to do is that you if you're using Premiere Pro but this is gonna be a tutorial in Premiere Pro because that's what I use for my professional work and everything. So yeah, what you need to do is you need to press this button here or you could go to file and then new and then adjustment layer but just press this little box right here that looks like a little paper and go down to the adjustment layer and just press OK after that. And so now you just got to do that and spread it across your timeline. Go in that, but most people don't, most people like, which I've seen people at college, like, they don't, like, if you like do this for fun, do YouTube for fun, you don't need to do this 
but if you are wanting your videos to look like Hollywood you need to do this so yeah uh, so what you need to do right here is that is that iPad I've just got some footage here from one of my short films that is going to be coming out uh, quite shortly so yeah um, so so what you need to do is you need to go into your color tab or you could just go to window and then the miniature color if I could actually find it so right there but I would definitely go into color because that is like you just do that straight away so if you actually go into color my computer is really damn slow there we go uh, so you just got to press the um, elementary scopes as well. That's where you could see all of your all of this um, all of this as well. But that's where you see most of the colour. So yeah. Um, there we go. Um, so. There we go. Um, basically, first of all, which I'm I'm just gonna do is just I'm gonna uh, go into LUT. And you do you don't need to add LUTs, but I would recommend that you download the uh, Sunder LUT um, from just a Sunder LUT from. Fuck Sunder LUT. I'll be back in a second. I found uh, Sunder. LUT. Uh, so basically just uh, if you want to I found out who the LUTs come from so basically what you need to do is you need to go over to see our visuals um, right here uh, he he is a very good cinematographer right here so yeah as well um, he is a 5D Mark II but uh, basically he says free Sunder uh, luck film test. If you want to see what they what it looks like, you you just play the video and it looks pretty good right here. Um, it looks pretty. It looks fucking recording. Um. All right, people. So basically, what you need to uh, what you need to do is you need to go to. Uh, you need to put you need to put I W L T B A P and then slash line sunder slash line sunder or you could go over to see our visuals and you could and you can click on this video free sunder luck test film if you want to see what that what it looks like because yeah that's where I got it from. And then he also put a link as well, which I will do as well. Um, the link will be down in the description if you want to download the same Lux as me. Um, yeah. Um, also, well, I, I use the vlog one um, and also use the Q files if you're going to do the LUT as well. But also, also Premiere do do LUTs as well. They do some LUTs by... DJ, which is a pretty good cinema thing, cinema company that it has lenses for films as well, which you could, do, you could, which you could do that. You could put red web, HDR, whatever. Um, but I would recommend you actually do that. Um, so what you got to do right now is if you if you use your look that's fucking too much okay so you do that and then you can pull it to around about 40 that already looks quite good so far but also also what i would i'll show you in another video on how to basically how to make your footage look good out of your camera so you can make make it as good as possible yep um, so you're right here. Um, just added the adjustment layer and do that. Add a lot as well. Um, I add a little bit of the fade. That is just um, so that it gives it a little old-ish look. Um, it looks a little bit like 
film. But do that as well, but I don't want to fucking run on my phone. Can I cancel it please? Can I cancel? Yes, thank you. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of a fade. 15. 15 does it as well. Um, also as well, I you can add contrast and everything. Uh, after that, you could after the creative tab, which you if you have added a lot. If you have not added a lot, you can also add do a fade film as well. Um, so yeah. Um, so what you what I do now? I like a little bit of blue tinge, which is pretty sick as well. So I put minus 25. It gives it a little bit of a blue thing. Like if you if you want to make it look like really early in the morning, you could use your temperature to like fucking maximum bright blue, which makes it look like it's really early in the morning. Like right? it's five in the morning, uh, but I usually keep it around about minus minus ten to minus twenty five. Uh, Cause that if you if your footage looks if you want to make it look summer, you could you could just not put the minus and you could put like 10 like 10 if you want to make it look like it's summery so yeah uh, but I want to make it look like so it's I like my little coldish look but the temperature is usually from cold to light so yeah um, also as well you you do need to Usually I mentioned goes I like you don't need all of this but I like all of this. Um so Um so I like to add a lot of it because Yeah there it is. Uh so so what they basically do is they basically show all your colours in your shop. So yeah. Um, as well, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a quick braid. Like I'm just gonna add 40 contrast, which is quite contrasty. Um, highlights to around about 15. But basically, it goes from zero is your zero is your there is black and it goes from I think it's left to right so yeah it shows you all the RGB but this is in RGB at the moment RGB is basically red, green and blue all together so pretty much is white is that red, blue, red, green and blue makes white so you could if you want to make this white you could just go into um, you could just put to go into parade type and if you want it white you can press white um, but I want it in RGB because I actually want it um, basically this one just shows you your lights as well but also the histogram and uh, shows you all the colours in your shop so yeah um, shadows right now I'm just going to put it to around about 20 no, that's a little bit too harsh. Um, I'm gonna put it to run about. Yeah. Um, white to 15 and blacks to minus 20. Um, I always keep my blacks uh, down because it makes your footage look a lot, lot better. So yeah. Also, also if you're using like something like B log or like B-Log or, or like S-Log, C-Log or something like that you need to add saturation because mostly the saturation is completely down so which makes your footage look really horrible so yeah, I because I use C-Log on my camera or Cine style um, which which you need to add uh, I use a, I usually put 115 or that so yeah um, also well the curves as well you need to add a little bit of an S um, so 
Right, basically the bottoms are your contrast, your your shadows, your middle is your mids and your top is your highlights. So yes, um what you need to do is you like you need to add a little bit. A little bit of S right here. S, let's do this quickly. I don't usually use the well, I'm, I'm just not gonna add a S right there, but usually I would add an S um, or not. I don't usually use the uh, RGB curves because well sometimes I do but usually I don't just add the smallest bit of S which you can do um, as well but okay for some reason my curves is not um, alright let's try it in this if your curves don't work, like like my PC is that you just need to okay. For some reason, my curves aren't working for me today. So yeah, um, so if you do, you need to add an S to your curves. Uh, so if you want to make your footage look like Hollywood, um, also as well, um, colour wheels, uh, you need to add tilt and orange, that is what they usually use in Hollywood, so, fucking hell, um, what? Okay, my computer will work, please. This would be nice. If it would actually work. Um, for some reason, my computer is not working for me. Can can you just work properly? Um, can can I just add till? Add a little bit of a till um, this and um, with your mid times as well. Um, you can put them up or you can put them down, it's whatever you're like. You're the filmmaker, you're the editor, you choose what your shot looks like. So just add a little bit of orange right there, and in the, that's the mid times, add orange. Um, the highlights is where I usually put teal or orange as well, but usually you go into elementary colour and see what it see what your footage looks like. So mine's going round mine's going round a little bit of a purple and blue look, uh, but there's a lot up here it says a lot of, there's a lot of blue and purple in the shot. But but it's up to you, it's up to the filmmaker, so for the highlights is there as well. So as well, if, if you're in your creative type, you could you could use your tint or effect. So I'm just going to... You don't need to touch that, but if you want to touch that, you can. So, so you guys have actually enjoyed the, your footage, so all you need to do is just render out your footage. Um, so... Yeah, if you want to make it look cinematic as you want, you need to you need to go in to export, and then you need to just wait for that to load. And uh, so you need to add your map source. So you need that, and then you can just on um, source, and then you can just click all of that. All of it. All of it. I 
But yeah, um, so yeah guys, hope you actually enjoyed this video. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and... And hope you actually know how... So... Yeah, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like now. So... So you guys, hope you actually enjoyed this video. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and... Yeah! Happy editing. Peace out.